What is going on everyone? It is Super here and I'm bringing you guys another Mortal Kombat X video. And today I have the Cassie Cage highlight video for you guys. As you see, it's 25 minutes long and I could have made this bad boy like 40 minutes to an hour long because I did play like a lot. I played for a lot of hours and I got a good amount of games, but you know, I try to pick like ones that you guys would be interested in and would be fun to watch, including some really close and good matches here. So I hope you guys enjoy all the matches. If you guys, you know, watch the whole video, I really, really appreciate it. Um, but I picked the this first match right here, kind of, uh, you know, shows off everything that Cassie could do. Um, as you guys saw right there, Reptile did a, a move that's at least minus six on block, and then I punished it with flip kick. That's something that I don't do nearly as much as I should. I should have punished a lot of things with flip kick, and right there actually uh, broke his armor, which is something that Cassie could do really, really well because um, she has the fastest reversal in the game, six frames, the EX flip kick and regular flip kick. Um, so if you do forward three, which is an overhead, or you do uh, down forward, uh, you know, you have to press at the same time. And one, uh, it's either going to go the low or overhead, and you immediately do the EX flip kick, and that breaks every single character's armor in the game. No matter what, if you time it properly, it's going to break every single armor in the game. So it's really, really strong, man. That is one of the best things that she has uh, on Wake Up because she has a lot of combos in the corner that lead to 40%. And then you could potentially, if they want to wake up, break their armor. That is ridiculous. Uh, so, you know, that's one of the matches that I actually got it because, um, you know, I was trying to do it, but a lot of people weren't waking up. And this match right here. This was a good match. Um, this guy actually recognized me, which was really surprising. And I actually played a couple more matches with him after this game. Uh, you know, there were some pretty good matches. He actually whooped my ass with Jax. He's a really good Jax player. Uh, too bad it was really laggy. So, you know, I kind of ruined the matches. But I want to include him in here so because he said he watched my video. So shout out to you. This is uh, definitely a really good match. Uh, one of the best ones that I had. It goes down to the absolute wire. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but I hope you enjoy this one and the rest of the matches so now let's get into like more stuff about uh cassie i already went through the um the armor breaking uh tech uh let's see what else she has a lot of moves that are plus on block which is really really good um the string that i use consistently throughout this video uh the the, the baton combo i think it's back to one two and then down two plus one all that in one motion and right before she actually does the overhead you have a chance to cancel it into any special move um, and one thing that's really strong about her is you could actually cancel at the very end to EX gunshots and that's like 10% ship which is crazy man it is absolutely crazy like if your opponent has 10% health and you get a knockdown and you start doing your combo into the EX gunshots that is gonna kill them you guys are gonna see that plenty of times in this video where I do um, where I do that combo into the EX gunshots and it's actually a true block string meaning they cannot do anything about it they can not armor through it they can not do any of that stuff and right there I get the win I get the lucky jump out because it was laggy he probably would have uppercutted me but he, he couldn't react online and I got the combo on him really good match um, you know ruined by the lag of course the net code you know you had to deal with it MK net code um, another really good um, true block string that you could do into her EX gunshots that do a lot of chip is back one uh, that's probably her best normal because it reaches like halfway across the screen it's a mid it's I think 11 or 12 frames which is uh, really good for a forward advancing mid that you know goes almost uh, halfway across the stage um, it, it goes into a combo that's plus on block uh, it does have a gap in it but a lot of people online don't know about it you know of course if I get punished once for it I'm not gonna do it anymore because then I know this guy's gonna punish me every single time that I try to do it um, you know if, if you stop at the second hit which is uh, back one two it's only minus six on block you know so she has a lot of moves and combos that are really really safe she has um 212 which is uh it leaves you uh neutral and of course she has a down three that is seven frames you know she has a lot of really good stuff man and right there oh instant air gunshots i don't care if you hit me with that soul ball i just wanted to do the instant air gunshots that's one thing that 
offline would be really strong. Uh, if I could do it more here online, I would have had a lot less trouble with some of the characters that I had trouble with. For example, Sub-Zero. Uh, a lot of times people would just hide behind the clone, the ice clone. And if I had, um, you know, the ability to, you know, pretty much do instant air gunshots the way I could do it offline, um, which is pretty much every single time like they would hit. Uh, I would have shattered the clone immediately and you know the last two bullets or so because I think it's four bullets that she shoots you know would have hit the hit the opponent for at least like four percent chip or four percent you know damage but it would have you know put it in their head like oh this guy's gonna every time that I do clone he's gonna punish me for it um, so I ran into that problem with sub-zeros online because they did the clone and then they did a fireball afterwards and I cannot trade with the uh, the ice ball like it's not gonna happen um you know because if i do hit him and he gets the ice ball out um the ex or the gunshots the instant air gunshots have too much recovery and i'm gonna get hit with the ice ball and that leads to a corner carry 25 percent combo and then you guys know grandmaster is one of the strongest if not the strongest character in the corner so it's really scary um oh right here perfect timing so that combo right there the baton combo the end of it is um, down two plus one, and two plus one is actually a um, an input for interactions. So a lot of times, one of the worst thing, actually the worst thing about Cassie, is that you use interactables without wanting to that ruin your combos that potentially could get you killed. Uh, because, for example, if there's like an interactable that sends you flying across the screen, like uh, it's supposed to be an interactable to get you out of things or like like the jungle, like the, the, the branches and stuff where you swing from it. Like if you're doing that combo and you're at the perfect spot to where you can use an interactable because you're doing that input, it's going to use an interactable instead of continuing the combo, which is something that really, really sucks about Cassie. Uh, but I mean that is pretty much like one of the only negatives about her i honestly cannot think of you know other negatives like off online this character becomes a little bit hard to use because she does become execution heavy especially in the corner like online i have to uh cut the corner combo down one rep the uh her combo that launches them up and you could continue the combo for a flip kick after uh, you could do two cycles of it and i have to only do one and that's like seven percent less damage which kind, which kind of sucks you know it could be the difference in a game you know for sure uh, especially if you get it multiple times in the corner and stuff and right there i didn't did not want to do that i actually wanted to do forward three which is the overhead into flip kick uh but oh i almost forgot the best thing about cassie or one of the best things is her ex nut punch is actually the only move in the game that has frames of invincibility so that means if you're trying to interrupt someone's uh you know like combo or something if the move comes out and it actually hits you it like goes through you it does no damage nothing like that it is actually ridiculous um you know it, it could be really really useful on wake up like even if your opponent times his move correctly if you do the ex nut punch at the right frames um everything is going to go through it so let's just say i have one percent health right and the opponent has like 20 25 percent health if i wake up with ex nut punch that could be death for him even if he times his normal correctly because the normal is just going to go through it because ex nut punch has uh frames of invincibility that means uh you know anything is going to go through it it's not going to affect the move at all um, and that's crazy man that's like one of her best things like it's the only move in the game that has invincibility which is like i said it's crazy like i didn't even know this uh when i started using her until a couple days ago i'm like uh, i was watching a stream and you know a person said that her ex nut punch is the only move in the game with invincibility and then when i was playing um you know this set to try to record for this video I found out it was true like so many moves on wake up were like just going through me when I was waking up with EX nut punch it's really really good man um, I know EX flip kick is really fast and stuff and it's safer like mid screen but a lot of times I was waking up with EX nut punch and you know just catching a lot of people with it so that's pretty much it guys like she really has she doesn't have too many negatives at all um, you know someone say 
someone might say that she could get out zoned. Like I said, if you're playing offline um, or in a pretty good environment as far as like lag, you know, the net code isn't completely destroying the match, you could do instant air gunshots and, you know, you could be fine. Like you could either trade or you could beat people before they even get their projectiles out uh, of course you can't compete with like hitchcock predator and stuff like that but you know other than you know potentially getting zoned out by a couple of characters she is really really strong like she has all the normals that is um you know makes for a really good character all the uh all her strings are really safe um the good ones at least and you know her down four is amazing it reaches you know really really far one of the farthest reaching down fours um, so I don't know, man, like I really want to make this character one of my mains because she is ridiculous. She, I, I had actually no idea how good she was. So I definitely recommend if you, if any of you guys are like even thinking or considering picking up a new character, definitely make it Cassie Cage because she is one of the best in the game so that's gonna be it guys i hope you enjoyed the cassie cage video enjoy the rest of the games uh because like i said her her play style is really fun to watch and i get some really cool stuff here and of course i finish most of the games with that selfie fatality so i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and i will see you guys next time round two fight
expected better. Round two. Fight! <laughs>
Assassin wins. Round one, fight. Thank you. 